Hey guys and welcome back. So you all have been asking for quite some time now for us to do a video on certain suede and new buck products that you should be using. You know, what should you do to keep your suede and new buck looking fresh and nice? Well, today you're in luck because I'm gonna to talk to you about five different products that we use on customer shoes all the time. If you own suede or new buck shoes, you are definitely going to want to have some of these. So stay tuned. All right, so there are five products that we use on customer shoes all of the time. Um, I'm not going to go into detail today on how to use each of these products. I'm just going to tell you about five products that I think, if you have suede or nubuck shoes, these are just five products that I think at some point you're going to want to have in your closet uh, in order to be able to maintain those suede or nubuck shoes for a long period of time. So let's get started. Without further ado, number one is going to be a suede brush. So a suede brush is an absolute necessity if you have have a pair of shoes with this type of leather on it. So you can pick these up anywhere. Um, this is one that we have here by Saphir. It has synthetic bristles around the edge, which are a little softer, but in the middle. So this is one that we have here at the shop, uh, one that we sell online. It's by Saphir and it is, I like it because of the handle on it, but I like it also because it has little synthetic hairs along the edge, but it also has these metal bristles here in the middle. Now. There's gonna be a lot of different places you can pick up these brushes. You can find cheap ones pretty much anywhere. Um, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, most drug stores are gonna have some sort of little suede care kit. This is another small one that we have, uh, just a little cheap one. It also has metal bristles. Um, you'll also find some that will have just synthetic hair and they don't have metal on it. Now, any of them will work, but I have found that the ones that have metal bristles definitely do a better job at really getting into uh, the hair on that shoe or that nap is what it's called and just brushing over that shoe and bringing that nap back up the way it was when it was new. So a suede brush again number one on the list must have go get you one today a suede brush. All right number two on my list if you have a pair of suede or new buck shoes and I know a lot of people don't even know what this is a gummy eraser. So I call it a gummy eraser, but they come with most standard suede kits. Again, if you go to Walmart or some, you know, anywhere out there and you ask for a little bitty suede kit, normally they come with, again, the little suede brush and you'll find them with these little erasers. When I say it's a gummy eraser, it looks just like what I had when I was a kid in school. Um, it looks like what you would use to, you know, erase your paper. But these things are absolute miracle workers. I use this 90% of the time on customers' suede when they bring it in. I cannot begin to tell you just how many stains and dirt and buildup and whatnot this little eraser will remove from your suede and new book. So, again, I'm not going to go into great detail today. I'll do some other follow-up videos to come and go into more detail on each of these products. But basically what you do is you take the shoe, let's say you have a little dark spot or something right here on your suede, what you will do is you just erase that spot. You take your suede brush, you sweep over it, bada bing, bada boom, it's done. Number three is a suede or new buck sealer and waterproofer. So I have a couple of different ones here that we use here at the shop. We have a Trago Nano Spray, and then we also have the uh, Saphir Super Invulner Spray. Now both of these do an amazing job. If you have suede or if you have Nubuck, you definitely want to make sure that you are protecting that suede. Now unlike a smooth calf skin or smooth leather where you can put cream and you can put uh, wax and whatnot on that shoe to protect the leather. You obviously cannot do that with suede and nubuck. So you have to have something else on that suede to protect it from dirt, water, uh, salt, things like that. So a waterproofing spray is definitely something you need to put on your shoes. Now they are not all created equal. Um, the Nano Spray, for example, and there's lots of other brands out there. I'm just throwing out the two that, that we use here at the shop. Now the Nano Spray by Tarago, super heavy duty stuff. Um, I've put it on you know, my kids' canvas van shoes. I've put them on 
you need to put on fabric, you can, you know, and of course, obviously you can put it on your suede and new butt. The only problem that I found with the nano spray is it does such a good job of protecting the shoes that you can't, and it lasts so long that you can't really put anything else on your suede when that's on there. And that's one of the reasons that I prefer the, the Super Invulner Spray by Saphir, and it's what I put on most of our customers' high-end shoes because it lasts a while, but it will also begin to wear off. So I will be talking about my fourth product here in a second. But again, the reason I like this one is you spray it on there, it'll last for a while, then it'll begin to wear off, and that way you can go back and condition your suede and new buck later. I like having a product that is not going to stick on that leather and stay on there, and therefore prevent me from being able to really get into it, penetrate it with a conditioning agent. Um, I like something that I could spray on there, it protects it for a couple of weeks, and then I can go back, clean my shoes off, do whatever I need to do, then spray it again. So that's one of the reasons I like the Saphir one best. But again, there are many, many brands of uh, waterproofing suede sprays out there. That is definitely something you need to be doing the day you get your suede or Nubuck shoes. You want to make sure that you spray those and protect them. Product number four is going to be a shampoo. So just like you would with leather shoes, you have to have a good uh, leather or saddle soap for a smooth leather. For suede, you don't want to go using a saddle soap or anything harsh on that leather um, because it will begin to mess with the nap. And obviously with suede new buck, you want to be able to see that nice nap where you can brush it back and forth and see the lines in it and it stands up the way that it should. And it should just have that you know nice feel to it. So do not use a saddle soap, obviously, on your suede or new buck. Instead, these are two different suede shampoos that we have by Saphir. Um, obviously, again, there are lots of different suede shampoos out there. Just make sure that you are using a uh, shampoo that is made for suede and nubuck. But that is definitely a product you will want to have because I cannot tell you how many customers come into their, our shop saying, hey, I spilt something all over my shoe or hey, I have mud on the bottom of my shoe. How do I get it off? After you take your suede brush and you dust as much of that off as possible, then you'll want to take that suede shampoo to really get a good sudsy, you know, a bath going for your suede and your nubuck and remove off as much of that dirt or that liquid as possible. So definitely invest in a good shampoo for your suede. Last but not least, product number five is a good conditioner for your suede. Now I know you're thinking, you're like, whoa, what's a suede conditioner? I I've never heard of such a thing. I hadn't either, to be honest with you. I've gone years working on suede and leather, protecting it, shampooing it and whatnot. And most people ask, well, hey, if I need to be conditioning my smooth leather, how do I condition my suede? Because I obviously can't use a conditioner on there. Yes, you can condition your suede leather. I know, I didn't think it was possible, but they do have a product out there that does a good job. And that product is the Saphir Renovateur Spray. So the Saphir Renovateur Spray is a lot like Renovateur that look, comes in the jar. It has a lot of the same properties in there. It has a lot of the high-end conditioning agents and oils that you will find in the Saphir Renovateur in the glass jar. Now, obviously you don't want to use the Saphir Renovateur that comes in the glass jar on your suede or your nubuck leathers. You don't want to do that. It will completely ruin the leather. Instead, Saphir has put that Renovateur into a can. And the beautiful thing about this is that it can, obviously, you spray it on the shoe. So it puts it into a fine mist that gets onto the leather, it gets absorbed into that leather, and it does a good job keeping that leather up underneath the nap hydrated. So another thing that I like about this product is that it also comes in different colors. Um, this one is neutral, it comes in black, it comes in some browns, and it does a great job of putting the color back into the shoe. So on top of it having a lot of conditioning properties, some of them, aside from the neutral here, uh, have pigment, have color pigment in it. So if you have a black boot, for example, like this one, this one looks brand new, but a lot of times you'll start seeing black suede almost turn to a gray color. It's just getting worn out. The ladies had it for several years and you can get this in a black. So when you spray the shoe, not only are you putting the conditioning agents back into the leather, 
but you're also spraying that shoe with a little bit of black pigment that is going to recolor that shoe. And no, it does not rub off on your pants or anything after it dries. It, believe it or not, it does a wonderful job putting the color back into that shoe. So hands down, this is one of the best products that we use here in our shop. I use it again on a lot of my shoes. And uh, if you're looking for a product, especially for your high-end suede or nubuck shoes, and you're wanting to keep those leathers conditioned, that's definitely a product that I would check out. Okay guys, so those are the five products that we recommend if you have suede or nubuck. It's the five products that we use all of the time on customer shoes here. Uh, and it's definitely five products that we recommend for you. Now again, you don't have to have all of these, but I would definitely recommend some of them like the suede brush, the little, uh, rubber gummy brush, and even a waterproofer. Those would be my top three. Now, if you get the other ones after that, that's icing on the cake. But again, you definitely want to make sure that you are taking care of your suede shoes. Please do not be that person that just gets them out of the box and you wear the tar out of them and you bring them to me and there's like basically holes in them because you've never done a thing to them. I definitely love customers that come into our shop and their shoes have been very well taken care of and they're just here for a resole. That, that really says volumes about you if you take care of your shoes. And again, that is why we are here to help take care of you by telling you what products we think you need and what you should be doing to your shoes. So again, I hope this helped. We will be going over each of these products in detail on upcoming videos. So if you have not liked our channel and you have not subscribed to our channel, please do that now because you do not want to miss the tutorials on how to use these products best. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for the comments and all of the great uh, response that we get to our channel. Again, we are always here for you guys and we are here to help you look your best. Thank you so much and until next time, have a great day.